Hello how are you? Back again with our channel, hope you are always healthy. This story is fiction only. If there are simultaneous character names, events, or stories, that is a compatibility except this video, is an original video we add the story with our own imagination with the purpose to provide information and education for us all. Let's get started. When it comes to providing a feet massage and stretching for someone with paraplegia, it's important to keep in mind the specific needs and limitations of the individual. Paraplegia refers to the paralysis of the lower half of the body, typically caused by spinal cord injuries. Massage and stretching can offer several benefits for individuals with paraplegia, including improved blood circulation, muscle relaxation, and relief from stiffness. However, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional or a trained physical therapist who can provide personalized guidance and recommendations based on the individual's condition and any specific medical considerations. Here are a few general tips to keep in mind when providing a feet massage and stretching for someone with paraplegia. 1. Positioning. Ensure the person is in a comfortable and supported position, such as lying down or sitting in a wheelchair. Use pillows or cushions to provide additional support if needed. 2. Gentle massage. Use gentle strokes and apply light pressure during the massage. Avoid deep tissue or intense pressure, especially if the person has reduced sensation or is prone to pain. Massage techniques like effleurage, long, sweeping strokes, circular motions, or kneading can be used on the feet and lower legs. 3. Range of motion exercises. Perform gentle stretching exercises to help maintain or improve flexibility. Move the ankles and toes through their full range of motion, bending and extending them in different directions. Support the leg during the exercises, especially if the person has weak or flaccid muscles. For stretching devices, consider using stretching devices specifically designed for individuals with limited mobility, such as foot stretchers or straps. These tools can help stretch the feet and lower leg muscles safely. 5. Communication. Always maintain open communication with the individual you are assisting. Ask for feedback regarding comfort, pain, or any discomfort during the massage or stretching. Adjust the techniques or intensity accordingly. Remember, these tips are general guidelines, and it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional or a physical therapist who can provide specific guidance based on the individual's condition and medical history. They can provide a comprehensive evaluation and design a personalized plan to meet their needs effectively. For paraplegic women, exercising and transferring safely can be an important part of maintaining overall health and mobility. Here are some considerations and exercises that can be beneficial. 1. Safety first. Before starting any exercise program, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional or a physical therapist who can provide personalized guidance based on your specific needs and abilities. They can help you develop an exercise plan tailored to your condition. 2. Transfer techniques. Transferring from a wheelchair to exercise equipment or the floor requires proper technique and assistance if needed. Some common transfer techniques for paraplegic individuals include sliding board transfers, standing pivots, or using assistive devices like transfer boards or lifts. A physical therapist can teach you the most suitable transfer techniques for your situation. 3. Strength training. Strength exercises help maintain muscle mass, improve bone density, and increase overall strength. Focus on exercises that target the upper body, including the arms, shoulders, chest, and back. Examples of strength exercises for paraplegic women include seated dumbbell presses, chest presses, bicep curls, tricep extensions, and seated rows. 4. Cardiovascular exercises. Cardiovascular exercises are important for cardiovascular health and endurance. For paraplegic women, options include wheelchair-based activities such as wheelchair racing, wheelchair basketball, wheelchair tennis, or hand cycling. Depending on your level of mobility and fitness, you can also perform activities like arm ergometry, where you use a specialized machine to exercise your arms. 
5. Core Exercises Strengthening the core muscles is essential for stability and balance. Seated exercises that engage the abdominal muscles, such as seated crunches or seated leg lifts, can be beneficial. Pilates and yoga adapted for seated or modified positions are also effective for core strengthening. 6. Stretching and flexibility. Regular stretching helps improve flexibility, maintain range of motion, and prevent muscle tightness. Focus on stretching the major muscle groups, including the hamstrings, quadriceps, hip flexors, and shoulders. Gentle stretching exercises can be performed either in a seated position or while lying on your back. Remember, it's important to listen to your body and progress gradually. Start with exercises that are appropriate for your current fitness level and gradually increase intensity or duration as tolerated. Regular physical activity and exercise can have numerous benefits, including improved strength, cardiovascular health, mood, and overall well-being. Stretching exercises can be beneficial for paraplegic women to maintain flexibility, improve circulation, and prevent muscle atrophy. Here are a few stretching exercises that can be done on a bed. Upper Body Stretch Sit on the edge of the bed with legs extended in front of you. Interlace your fingers and stretch your arms above your head. Lean slightly to one side, feeling the stretch along the opposite side of your body. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and repeat on the other side. Hamstring stretch. Lie on your back with one leg extended on the bed and the other leg bent. Use a towel or resistance band around the sole of your foot and gently pull your leg up. Feel the stretch in the back of your thigh. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and switch legs. Quadriceps stretch. Lie on your side with your bottom leg straight and your top leg bent at the knee. Reach back and grab your ankle or foot of the top leg. Gently pull your foot towards your glutes, feeling the stretch in the front of your thigh. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and switch sides. Chest stretch. Sit on the edge of the bed with your back straight. Extend your arms straight behind you, interlace your fingers, and rotate your palms away from your body. Gently lift your arms, feeling the stretch in your chest. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Shoulder stretch. Sit on the edge of the bed and cross one arm over your chest. Use your other arm to support the stretching arm by holding your elbow. Gently pull your arm closer to your chest until you feel a stretch in your shoulder. Hold for 15 to 30 seconds and switch arms. Remember, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional or physical therapist to determine the most suitable stretching routine for your specific needs and abilities. They can provide personalized guidance and ensure your safety while performing these exercises. Fine, for the current video, we finished that, if you want to know more about their full story, please subscribe and like this channel, if you have suggestions and input, please comment below, thank you for watching.